Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Natasha Martinez. It's no secret that women's boxing has found increased support this year from promoters and fans. Part of that reason for the sport's growing popularity lands in the hands of fighters like Los Angeles middleweight Maricela Cornejo. She has caught the attention of World Boxing Council and Golden Boy Promotions chairman, Oscar De La Hoya, who signed her to a contract. Not only does Maricela pack a punch, but she packs a powerful message too. She found boxing as a sanctuary from the torment she suffered as a sexual abuse survivor. She also battled an addiction to drugs before finally finding redemption in the ring. And now she tells us her story right here on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. I've been boxing for a little over five years now and what led me into boxing was wanting to fight my way through Hollywood. At the time I started boxing, Gina Carano was Ronda Rousey at that time and she had just gotten a movie role and I was uh, doing the acting thing, I say like everybody and their grandma in Hollywood and I said, well, this is a quicker way to get into Hollywood. That's how I happened to start boxing. I said, well, I'm gonna be on the big screen. We wanna lose five, 10 pounds. All women wanna lose five, 10 pounds. So I got in there and they said I hit like a man. So I was like, well, this can possibly work. That's a good thing in boxing. So um, I ran with it and I dedicated myself to the sport. And in such a short time, I've accomplished a lot of things that many women boxers have not even accomplished. From Los Angeles, California, she is La Diva, Maricela Cornejo. Golden Boy Promotions, I fought with them at the Velasco fight. My dream was, you know, to sign with Oscar, that I way out, uh, starting off in the sport, and I remember taking a picture with him and telling him, I'm gonna sign with you one day, or, or fight on one of your cards, I actually said, and I did. So that was pretty awesome, the moment, the day that I, that I had that opportunity. Your winner by unanimous decision, Maricela Cornejo! Growing up, I was athletic, and uh, I would always imagine what would happen to me or what, how would I react in a fight. Boxing is a very mental game. It's more mental than physical, truly. And if your mind's not there, you're done. It was something that helped me figure out who I am. Going to schools um, and speaking about my experience in this life of boxing is something that I love doing because kids who need to hear it that life isn't gonna be perfect, you know? Everything that has happened to me, I'm so thankful for because it has built me to become better and stronger me. And what I think that I'm being prepared for is much bigger than what I can even imagine. Having a troubled background is definitely something I relate to. At a young age, I went through uh, sexual molestation from a family friend, uh, trying to commit suicide because I didn't understand what, was, what had happened and how I hated myself because I didn't share that with my family. You have dealt with in life, you can still overcome that and become bigger than that. And, that happened to you to become an inspiration to somebody else. I had a brain tumor when I was over 40 years old. You had a brain tumor? Yeah. Well. And um, now I am beautiful. There was one girl at today's school who shared her story with um, dealing with a brain tumor at a young age and how she overcame that and how now I was her inspiration. Let me give you a hug. You fall, get back up. Plain and simple. Fall, get back up, but learn from it. Don't give up. You're not gonna lose a fight if you don't give up. 